These are the Black Hawk knee pads. We've had them for about five years. We've used them a fair amount, especially in the winter. We'll talk about that. If I can find the footage when we used them, I'll roll it in. I don't know if I want to go digging through, uh, what do we have now? 12 hard drives plus their backup, so that would be 24 to find that video. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Uh, but take my word for it. Here's your mini review. Mm, they pretty much suck. Yeah, I, I don't like them. How many times have you seen me wearing them? Maybe once, twice. TD loves them, at least in the winter time. And I guess that's what they're good at, if they're good at anything, is winter shooting. Because they are made of neoprene, the Black Hawk knee pads, at least this version, they may make others. And so they have this really thick pad over your kneecap, which in the winter time is actually pretty good because as you're kneeling in snow, whether it's packed or slush, it keeps you out of that moisture and out of the, the slush and snow, that's good. And I think in that narrow philosophy of use, they're pretty good. They're made of neoprene, however, and that is mostly a downside in my way of thinking. Number one, it's, uh, it's wetsuit material. And I dive, not frequently, but I dive once in a while. I've worn wetsuits lots. And as you know, if you brush against a rock in a wetsuit, even while diving, you can shred it. If you look at experienced divers, almost always they'll have repairs on their wetsuit, especially commercial divers. They're going to have like glue here, glue there. So when you make a knee pad out of this material, what do you think is going to happen? The only reason ours aren't shredded that much is because we don't have that many miles on them. But if you start running in uh, rocks, dirt, grit, they're, they're going to break. And there, there are reports there about the Black Hawk knee pads not lasting very long under hard use and it doesn't have to be on the desert it could be a commercial use maybe you're well I used to throw freight for Albertsons on the graveyard shift you know that'd be a really good test for these maybe in that application they'd be okay I mean cuz you know it is a very comfortable pad uh, the downside for, with a pad this thick though is balance so you're kind of perched precariously on this really tall pad and you can actually roll roll the pad off I did see that happening to me when I wore these that's number one. We talked about the dura durability of the fabric, neoprene. The other downside of neoprene is when it's hot. I mean, they don't breathe, and so you're sweating like crazy underneath. And then when you get that salt built up, you get like chafing. Voice of experience. That sucks. So they're really horrible for summer or warm weather, especially humid conditions. I just wouldn't run them. Here's another reservation I have about them. Velcro. So weeds and seeds have gotten into these. We've had to clean them. And also Velcro, Velcro wears out. It's notorious for wearing out. It's just not a very durable uh, way to affix uh, things. And I'm speaking from 21 years of military service. My patches wore out. They would fray and shred. We'd have to cut them off, sew them back on. It's almost like a temporary thing. So anything that uses Velcro, whether it's LBE or in this case knee pads, I I'm going to be kind of down on it. I, I don't dig it. Uh, the stitching is good. I like that. The weight is good. They are lightweight. The cost is reasonable. They're under 30 bucks. They come in various colors. That's all good. For the winter is when I would use these in deep snow. Even then, I you know I wouldn't go, oh, I need to wear the Black Hawk knee pads because they're like the perfect knee pad. They're not. They, they do okay. They do have better traction than hard plastic protective armored knee pads. These do because this is kind of like, you know, a traction material. There you go. Uh, what are you using? Nothing. Well, I reviewed them like eons ago, and it's still these. The Alta. That's what I use. I I love these knee pads. They're a favorite. They're called Alta Lock now, and they are around twenty-two dollars. I'll put a link in the bottom if you're interested. They're almost free. They're so freaking cheap. And notice w what the Black Hawk gets wrong. Alta still. The design really hasn't changed that much because they don't have to, gets right. The way they attach are not with Velcro, but easily adjustable and very durable cam buckles. How many shoots have you seen me wearing these? How about almost all of them? At least when I'm kneeling. Sometimes I'll run without them, but if we're getting serious and dumping it a lot in the dirt, I'm wearing these. Protects your knee. I have a whole separate view on, a review on these. I'll just talk briefly about them. 
They come in different colors. These are multicam. Coyote ones are my favorite. That's catalog number 50413, I think. 22 bucks. They will slip around on the snow a little bit. They will break their rivets once in a while. We've seen that. You know, I'll just run them until they blow out and then I'll buy a new pair. You know? I've tried gluing them. That didn't work too good. I'm talking the hard shell to the Cordura soft por portion here. They're not too thick, whereas look how thick that pad is. This is a lot thinner and trimmer. It doesn't really get in the way. The only thing you'll have to do is adjust them. They will slip down on your long pants occasionally and you just got to pull them up, hold your hold your long, uh, you know, your pant leg and then just yank them up again. Adjust these. Uh, incidentally, and I've seen guys that I've loaned these to, they don't really know how they work. They're always undoing these. They're like unlooping this. I was like, no, that's not how they work. You just uncam it right here at the buckle. These are actually brass and then they're coated with some type of paint or whatever and you just snap them on. And then when I store mine, I always clip them on too, and I might nest them inside each other. That way they stay as a pair. You know, have a bunch of straps getting in the way. Uh, weeds and seeds will get in the back, but that's just the cost of doing business with a, a good knee pad. Um, and we'll just pick them clean once in a while. Super lightweight, durable. They dry out quick, and when they get super dirty, I just put them in a bucket of water and wash them. And then air dry them. 22 bucks, though. So between these two, which would you have, Matt? Uh, it's hands down Alta still. Now, some guys may roll, oh, you should check these out. I, I'm not motivated. These are good enough for me. The price is right. And uh, I know a lot of audience members here in the project that have bought these. Super happy with them. Military, law enforcement, civilians that love them. So uh, I, I'll give a likability scale of the Blackhawk. I, I'm not going to like totally hate on them. I'll say 5 out of 10. No, they're okay. For winter is where that five's coming from. Summertime, absolutely not. That's it.